here we get to get into some of the specific breeds of animals that we're going to be looking at throughout the semester. We're going to start with beef cattle. So these are cattle that are used for meat. Um, the first breed we're going to talk about is the Angus cow. They always have very smooth hair coat and they're always black. There's also a breed called Red Angus and they're essentially the same thing except they're red, but the Angus that we're going to talk about is always black. Um, they're a medium to large frame. They're always very alert. They're naturally polled, and that's just a fancy way of saying that they don't have horns. They are the most registered breed. A lot of times you'll see um, either in advertisements or if you go to the grocery store and you look at the beef section, you see a little label that says 100% Angus beef. Basically, all that means is that the, that particular meat that you're looking at came from an Angus cow. Um, they do have very high carcass quality. They originated actually in Scotland. more pictures of the Angus. The polled Hereford, so polled, it's in the name, means they don't have horns. They're always red with a white face and they originated in England. Um, there's also a horned Hereford breed. They're exactly the same thing except the horned Hereford has horns and the polled Hereford does not. The Charlet, the Charlet is a white to a straw colored animal. They are naturally horned. Um, you can dehorn them, but they are naturally horned. They're a larger framed animal. They're very high spirited. They can be a little bit um, more spunky, shall we say. Um, they're very good for crossbreeding because they have this heavy muscling. They're actually, they work really well if you cross them with other breeds. You can actually increase the muscle size of your other breeds. Um, they have a very rapid growth rate and they originated in France. The Brahmin, this is one of my favorite breeds. Um, they can really be a range of different colors. They can be kind of a light gray to a black or a red. They have that large hump right on their backs, kind of where their neck and their back come together. They are naturally horned and they also have a loose dewlap. And the dewlap is that flap of skin that kind of comes under their chin, down their throat, and in their chest. That's what that loose flap of skin is. It's a very loose dewlap. Um, they are very resistant to insects and they're very heat tolerant. They actually have modified sweat glands that allow them to sweat more freely than other cattle breeds. And they actually developed this because they originated in India, which is a much warmer climate than what we've got going on here. The limousine. The limousine is a lighter yellow to a darker red color. They have a very large long frame. So they're a longer framed animal than say your Angus or your Herefords. Um, they have a small head and a very heavy neck, very thick muscling around their neck. Um, you can always tell it's a limousine because they almost look like they're wearing white eyeliner. They have these lighter colored circles around their eyes. Um, also another good breed for crossbreeding, very similar to the Charolais and they also originated in France. And that is it for this one. Um, we've got swine breeds and poultry breeds coming up.